morning, everyone. Our, our opening song is out of the glory and praise, which is number 677. 677, we praise you. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. Your wisdom made the heavens and the earth, O Lord. You formed the land and set the lights. And like your love, the sun will rule the day, and stars will grace the night. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. You have chosen Jacob for yourself, O Lord. So tenderly you spoke his name. Then called a holy nation Israel. To make them yours you came. We praise you, O Lord. For all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. You led us out of Egypt with a guiding hand. You raised your arm to set us free. And like a tender vine, you planted us to grow unto the sea. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this Feast of St. Nicholas, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Fernando Cardoso and the special intention for Paula Timchak. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord. Protect us in all dangers, that through the prayers of the Bishop St. Nicholas, that the way of salvation may lie open before us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all the people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I said, What shall I cry? All people are grass, 
Their constancy is like a flower of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fade when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fade. But the word of our God will stand forever. Get up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother's sheep. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, the Lord our God comes in strength. The Lord our God comes in strength. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. The Lord our God comes in strength. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all peoples. Say to the nations, the Lord is king. He will judge the people with equity. The Lord our God comes in strength. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. The Lord our God comes in strength. Rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. The Lord our God comes in strength. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The day of the Lord is near. He comes to save us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus asked the disciples, what do you think? If a shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the 99 on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he rejoices over it more than over the 99 that never went astray. So it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. The first reading in the gospel remind us that Jesus is our good shepherd and that every soul means much to God. Every soul is special. Every soul is what put Jesus on the cross for its redemption and that eternal life may be granted to that person. God continues to show us how compassionate and merciful he is, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Feast of St. Nicholas, the real Santa Claus, also reminds us of the fact that this humble bishop of the church recognized the need of his people and he responded accordingly, as a good shepherd should. St. Nicholas recognized the poor in his community, and it brought him great joy to ensure that not just, you know, Christmas gifts under a tree were given, but that their basic human needs were met. And so St. Nicholas, the real Santa, reminds us of our need to be cautious of another's need and respond to it. And this response is because the gospel message has moved our heart 
And so it should be a deep desire for each of us when we see a need in another to do our part to help them, first and foremost to lift them in prayer, and then as Mother Teresa reminds us, prayer needs to be followed by action. So how can we be the Saint Nicholas in our world today? Doesn't mean you have to go and dress up like a bishop, although you can if you like. It could be Christmas for you or Halloween if you like. But it's this idea of having a shepherd's heart after the heart of Jesus. How can we be more like Saint Nicholas and draw others to a deeper love for God and in response to basic human needs? So may these scriptures invite us to transform our hearts like Jesus's, that the sacred heart of Jesus may help us through his mercy to be more open, to be more compassionate, to be more loving, so that we can do our part to shepherd souls for Jesus and draw them to himself. Acknowledging our need before God, we humbly present to him our prayers. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for all bishops, especially our own, Gerard Burgi, for all clergy and religious who shepherd the church. May God draw us ever closer to him as we lead his beloved flock, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for leaders throughout the world. May God give them hearts of compassion and courage in dedicating themselves to the service of those who are most in need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are sick, those who are elderly, and those most vulnerable. We remember Father Stephen and all who've asked for our prayers, and those who have no one to pray for them. May God's providence lead them into communities of safety and care, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for us gathered here that God will give us clarity of vision to acknowledge our sinfulness and the courage to ask for God's mercy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are discerning a call to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, that they may be like Mary and respond yes to God's call, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for each of us. May through the intercession of Saint Nicholas, may we grow in our love for God and our desire to care for the needs of one another, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Fernando, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died, that God may welcome them as a shepherd does his sheep into his eternal kingdom of rest, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts, God of all power and love, you know the depths of our sin and the trust and the truest need of our hearts. In your abundant mercy, hear and answer our prayers. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Saint Nicholas, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray on the offerings we have set upon the sacred altar on the feast day of St. Nicholas, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. 
through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. In Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant, Fernando, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Though with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with the prophet Isaiah, with Saint Nicholas, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you.
turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of St. Nicholas, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Our Advent journey continues. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, a reminder that Mass on Thursday is at 8.20 and 9.40. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. The nations fashion silver idols, golden gods, but none have hearing, speech, or sight. Their makers shall be like their empty gods. The Lord alone brings life. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. O house of Israel, now come to bless the Lord. O house of Aaron, bless God's name. O bless the Lord, all you who honor God and praise his holy name. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. God bless you. Have a good day.